is that you're always going to be black. Um, so if you look at Cosby, look at OJ Simpson, you look at Tiger Woods, those cases are almost identical in the sense that you had three black men uh, where there was not adequate proof that they, of their guilt of doing anything wrong. Tiger didn't do shit wrong. I mean, Tiger cheated on his wife, which is wrong. I mean, it makes him a morally reprehensive person. It makes him a bad husband, but that's between him and his spouse. But his wife is the one who should have went to prison because she tried to kill him with a golf club. Now you tell me a world where a person can try to murder some, another person with a golf club, hit them upside the head, bust their face up. That's why Tiger was out of the public eye for about three weeks because his face was so busted up because his wife had been hit, had hit him in the head with the golf club. You tell me a world where I could go out and hit somebody in the head with a golf club and damn near kill them and then have them on national TV apologizing to me. There is nothing that that person could have done, nothing they could have said, nobody they could have fucked that would make you feel that they should be apologizing to me. The best thing I would hope for is that I don't get 30 years in prison. But white female privilege kicks in. Everybody sees her as the victim. Everyone always sees the white female as the victim no matter what. Even when she's the perpetrator, even when she's the villain, even when she has attacked somebody. And this ain't no disrespect. I know probably some white women watching this. Some of y'all I might know. I ain't really talking about you, but you need to check yourselves. You need to look around. There, there's very few. There's a reason why white women are the lowest uh, or are the least incarcerated group of people in America and why black men are the most incarcerated group of people in America. And don't you dare try to say that it's because we're bad and you're good. No, I've seen y'all do some ratchet, horrible, ridiculous shit, but somebody always protects you. So while you are running around here screaming that you're as, as oppressed as we are, that you deserve the same spot in line for the affirmative action program as black people do, that you've gone through what we've gone through. In fact, when, we, when they start talking about reparations, they'll probably start trying to get reparations for white women. While you're saying all that, just understand that these same white men that you claim will oppress you, they're also the same white men who also protect you. They, they created the Ku Klux Klan to murder us to protect you. They built, they, they literally created one of the greatest terrorist organizations in the history of all mankind to protect you. When they made that movie, Birth of a Nation, in 1919, whatever year it was, and they talked about how the Klan was going around killing black people to protect for these sweet, innocent damsels in distress, they built all that to protect you. Nobody protects black people. Nobody. So stop acting like your feminist sisterhood plight. God bless you for that. Women deserve equal rights. We know that. Stop behaving like you're always the victim because you're about the most fucking aggressive victim I've ever seen in my life. My God, I, I've never been more afraid of a victim uh, ever. Victims are supposed to be meek and scared and, and under attack. No, these victims are some treacherous sons of bitches when they want to be that way. So, so I'm sorry, you're not a victim. Stop acting that way. So anyway, um, I'm going to have to go in a minute. I'm in Chicago. If y'all guys want to come to Chicago, uh, feel free. Uh, you can get your ticket at Dr. Boyce.